Hello, I'm Stan Boney. I'm Lindsay Watson. In the past two years, Warren police have confiscated 500 guns, but still, people are being shot and killed. Just in the past eight days, Warren saw a teenage girl murdered and six people shot. The problems are so serious, Warren City leaders gathered today to announce solutions. It is our top story tonight at 10. Surrounded by 15 Warren City leaders and another 13 sitting, Warren Mayor Doug Franklin and Chief started by announcing changes in the police department. Unlimited overtime for our officers on our department. This overtime will be, will include the emergency services division. Our street crimes unit is in their hours in the evenings and at nighttime. They'll be driving around in unmarked cars looking for uh, basically guns. They talked about how more and better video cameras need to be installed in Warren's high crime areas. We've had homicides, we've approached management, and years later, another incident happens out there and still no cameras. Mayor Franklin suggested the city buy some cameras. I don't care how we pay for it. Um, and that's being debated whether it's ARP. We're going we're to make the investment one way or the other. Chief Merkel says when someone with a lengthy record is arrested, they work with state and federal prosecutors. We'll look at the state time that they can get and the federal time, and we'll, whatever one's greater, we're going to go with that. The chief also wants Warren City Council to change the discharging of a firearm law from a misdemeanor to a felony. It's almost a joke when we catch somebody shooting a gun off in the city in this urban environment when there's people everywhere and we're only charging with you know, a misdemeanor of the fourth degree. Also, one by one, others spoke, many of them pastors in Warren's churches. Our goal is to save lives and preserve the future of our youth and to be a resource. There is an attempt to reach out, but there has to be a reach back. I know specifically of multiple mothers right now that are crying in their homes because they're afraid that their son isn't going to make it through this weekend. 